it gives me a great pleasure to actually welcome you here, Marianne and your partner, to the World Predator Classic 2015. It is going to be exciting. It is very exciting. I'm super excited. And behind you is where the stage is going to be. Uh, I know. It's amazing. It's, I've never seen anything like this. I'm so honored and so excited to be here in the Netherlands. And this is my first trip to Europe ever, my whole life. So what not have a better thing to do than to come to Europe, to the Netherlands, and to fish? The one thing I love. Well, looking at it, this is a different style of fishing, and uh, this is there are different techniques. I mean, how are you going to be be approaching this with with your partner here? Techniques the same as U.S. Uh, fishing for the Xander versus our walleye too. They're both exactly more or less the same with the terrain. We're looking for structure, as we did yesterday, and we caught Xander, and they bite yeah. just like our walleyes. So to us, it's a, it's our same fishing. So looking at that, the, the, the whole kind of difference, what is the difference between this type of event over here in Europe to the event you're actually participating back in the States? Well, I have to say one of the best things about your event is the catch release or catch record release format. Doing that and being very responsible as we all should be with conservation with our fisheries is something that I absolutely love. And currently right now with the tournaments that I'm fishing, we bring the fish to the scale and then the release. So it's very difficult um, to make sure and ensure that those fish remain alive for our grandchildren and our children to fish again another day. So that's one thing I absolutely love about the World Predator Classic and I'm very honored to be a part of this. Well, we, we think uh, over the next uh, three days, because I mean the opening ceremony today, we've got the firing of the old cannons and stuff, that's going to be going on, that's going to be really exciting. And then the, then the parade as you take the national flag of the USA down the canal, and then, uh, then back, I mean, how, how does that emotion kind of build up with you that's participated in the events before? Well, um, as a tournament angler from the United States, you know, we start the day out with the morning prayer and we say the Pledge, or Pledge of Allegiance. Um, they'll sing the songs, but to be able to be in a parade and fly our country's flag, what an honor. And then to see the giant cannons go off is something I've never seen either. I just hope that I'm able to capture some of this on my personal camera as well so I can get that feeling and bring it back to all the folks in the United States.